So for today, we're going to be looking at the season pass. The reason why I wanted to look at it individually is because uh, the armor, in, like this is probably the first time I've seen them go this hard with armor. So we'll talk about the armor once we get to it, but we're going to be looking at each of the levels. So that way we can see what's up for the first one. Obviously, we're going to be getting the new exotic, which is the exotic bow, which I didn't even know about. It's pretty cool. Final blows with this weapon. Grant Stasis arrows. Your next hip fire shot will fire all of them in a single volley. Really, really cool. I will definitely try to review this weapon. I've not used it yet, but I've seen some of the gameplay of it and it looks really, really cool. I also will be picking up the catalyst. So hopefully I can complete this soon and then make a review on it because I do want to start reviewing again. I said that <laughs> I said that in Witch Queen, but I really want to do it this time around. Defiant keys. So if you guys don't know, Defiant keys are the new way we can get a uh, loot kind of uh automatically consumed when opening season of defiance battleground chests to unlock bonus rewards defiant keys are found by completing activities throughout the system if you guys haven't seen my seasonal challenges we go over a little bit more but essentially defiant keys you can get from gambit crucible uh vanguard uh neo muna specifically the activity from neo muna and raids so that's how you get those uh basically you you the season of defiance battleground chests, and this is going to work for all of the season going forward uh from from what I, from what i've gathered you complete you complete the activity and you get one chest and through that chest you can actually use the key and you gain bonus progress so it's or you gain bonus loot it kind of works out to the same as previous where there is one chest for like regular regular people and there is one chest for people who had the material to use to open the chest so it kind of works the same if not it probably just has two chests again but either way not hard uh the fact that they give you some in the season pass is pretty cool, I guess. But the fact that we can get this in game is also like, I don't know. It's, it's fine, I guess. Uh, I'm not going to look at these just because those are, I don't really care about these. Um, we look at the Queen's Guard Valor, which I think the shader is way better than the other shader that is in here. We will see it. I, I actually really like the shader. I'm definitely going to be reviewing the shader so that way people can pick the shader up fast. I'll probably hopefully have it done by the end of the week. But we'll see. Uh, next thing is a finisher. Oh, this is a finisher. Eh, I'm not a fan. Like, eh, it's okay. We have Defiant Engram, which is how you open Season of Defiance weapon and armor. That's the new way because we don't have uh, Umbrella Engrams anymore. Uh, we have a new weapon, Fusion Rifle. This is a Fusion Rifle. <coughs> So this is going to be the same models from Season of the Lost. If you guys don't know, Season of the Lost was Awoken themed, so this makes sense. Um, ooh, Luminous Entrance. That's going to be cool for people who love uh, Awoken stuff, because that is very Awoken. More stuff here. We have a new... Oh, that looks cool. I like, I like when the Sparrows have uh, that stuff. How does it change colors, though? It's decent. Actually, it's really, really good. The only thing that doesn't change color is the, uh, the like star stuff in, in the middle, but that's still really cool. We have a bow race rate. I can't say that Re recontour. Um, looks pretty cool. I definitely am excited, but what is it? Precision bro, bro, <laughs> precision frame. Uh, it's pretty, uh, we'll see. What is it actually? Is it? Oh, it's a, <clears throat> it's a, ooh, is it stasis? Okay, I fuck with it. What's the, I didn't see this in another weapon. This weapon gains charges after assisting allies with the revives, healing over shields and subclass buffs. Defeating targets consumes charges while charged. This weapon gains bonus handling and reload speed or charge rate for speed. Ooh, that's okay. Like, ah, mm. subclass buffs is going to be useful for hunters because we can give people uh, some buffs. The overshield and the healing is definitely going to be for Warlock and Hunt and Titan. <clears throat> Although there is some things that we can do as a hunter to give overshield and healing. So this is pretty cool. We'll see how useful it is. We have the bow again for free to play players. We have the shader, which, oh man, I wish I liked this. I, my thing is like, maybe it just doesn't look good with the set that I'm wearing, but it just, it's too much. I think like visually it's too much. It's visually loud, I guess. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. We have a lot more bright dust. Well, we have bright dust is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if we have a lot more than before. 
I actually really like this ghost. It looks super cool. Um, pfft, mm, am I changing my ghost now? I haven't changed my ghost in a while. Yeah, I like it. It's super cool. Oh, I like it with this one. This one looks really cool. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's a ghost projection. Mm, wish ghost projections were cooler. All right, so now we get to another defined key. That's pretty cool. We have to find. Okay, so this is where it gets cool because <clears throat> that really cool like red armor that we saw. Uh, oh my God, is this symmetrical? No fucking way. Wow. You did it, Bungie. You fucking did it. You mad lads actually gave us some symmetrical arms. I can die happy. Uh, generate awoken favor with fewer final blows. Each piece of armor you're wearing with this perk on, it increases this bonus to a maximum of four items. Okay. So yeah, the that armor that we saw, I thought it was going to be raid armor because it just looks so extra. Um, no, this is the seasonal armor, bro. My only, my only gripe about this, the boots is the, the heels. I'm not a big fan of the heels. Not because like, oh, a guy wearing heels. I don't give a fuck about that. It's just in a combat situation, wearing heels makes no fucking sense. And I also believe that for females as well. Like it makes no sense for them to wear heels. Uh, we get to the first ornament. And again, uh, we're only going to be looking at the hunter because that's the character I'm on. And again, I'm going to get this for all the classes pretty soon considering I have a bunch of bounties and I'm going to be running bounties a lot. So don't, don't worry. You'll get the armor review later. You have the cloak, which looks, I actually really like this cloak, even though I hate the hood, but like, it still looks really cool. We have a uh, war table reputation. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Tekkian's regalia stripes. That's what they're called. Okay. Like the boots definitely cool, uh, asymmetrical, but I'm, I don't mind this, I guess this dude, this does look, this, this looks like some world of Warcraft shit, dog. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. This definitely looks like some world of Warcraft shit. The chest piece, which I think looks really cool. Also symmetrical, bro. Like what? We have Tekkian levitation. Oh, that's super cool. I wish I didn't have this though. Cause then I could use this on my, on my thumbnails. I'll probably still use it as a thumbnail stuff. We have the cloak, which you know what? Kind of basic. Uh, I don't like the medallion on that side. I just, I hate it a little, but not bad. Definitely, definitely seen worse. The helmet, which looks really cool. Unfortunately, uh, it's asymmetrical. Uh, I hate that. I hate that so much. Like just put it on both eyes, bro. <clears throat> and then we have the chest piece. This looks asymmetrical, but I don't think it is. Well, kind of because of the strap here, the stuff here, but I was talking more like this right here. Ooh, this chest piece with this cloak's gonna look super cool. And then we have the helmet, which that looks like some wow, like some World of Warcraft shit, bro. Looks cool. Definitely looks cool. Wonder how it shaders though. And then for the skin for this one, it is just a reskin. It looks like, well, I guess the gold has engravings, so that's cool. So that's pretty much it for the season pass. Let's actually look at the armor proper. <clears throat> so, or I say proper, but we're gonna just look at it through here. So like, I'm pretty hyped for this armor because the armor actually looks really cool, at least for the season pass stuff. Like this chest piece is definitely gonna be used by me. Like this chest piece is super fucking cool. Very, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I didn't notice that. I hate that. Um, the side strap here, there's no other side strap on the other side. So that's kind of annoying, but that also does give you a chance to showcase this leg a lot more than this one. So if there's an asymmetrical boots that you really like, you can probably just switch. Uh, you can put those boots on so that way you can show more of that boot instead of this one. I still think this is a banger. Uh, even if it is asymmetrical, it still looks super, super cool. Let's look at the helmet real quick. I hate that it does that. Helmet is, ooh man, that helmet. I feel bad for warlocks because they always get this helmet. And for those of you who are one or about to be like, this is a new helmet. What are you talking about? I'm specifically talking about this one, this one, um, <clears throat> this one, this one, this one, this one. Let's go. There's one specific one that like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. 
um i can keep going like i actually can this one that's a reskin still this one this one this one uh this one even this one <clears throat> where is the specific one i'm thinking this one uh this one it's reskin uh where is that specific one i'm thinking of oh i think it's a blue is it a blue yeah it's this one right here so warlocks have this really bad luck of having just helmets that have this like opening and i don't know why like there's other helmets you can do for hunt for warlocks uh, stop giving them just slits in the in the front of the helmet and calling it a day because i think that's boring for the arms i like the glow there but there's no glow on the other side which of course that's how that makes that's how that's how it is um boots 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 look pretty cool boots look pretty cool uh, again just heels have just never been a thing for me Although that being said, like combat boots, that's, I don't know. That's, that's a, that's a stretch because combat boots are not as big as heels, but still, I think my point still stands. And then the bond, usually I don't look at bonds because they're boring. Uh, this one's okay. I like that one light just kind of looks dumb, but whatever. Titans, you guys, you guys got a hood. I know you guys got a hood. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, this goes hard though. Oh, I know what I know what chess piece I'm combining with this. How's the shader though? I didn't even think about that. Oh, this one goes hard. So I'm gonna combine this chess piece with the uh, Witch Queen chess piece. Yeah, where, where is that chess piece? <clears throat> this one right here. This one. Oh, it's gonna look so fucking cool. Oh, I'm so excited. You heard it here first, folks. Uh, arms, not a fan of the arms. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I think it's the fact that like this right here, I'm not a fan of it. It just, it's too thin, I guess. I don't know. Definitely not gonna wear the arms though. Not a fan. Chest piece, let's see the chest piece. Um, I don't know why they have these plates, but chest piece looks pretty cool. Like actually boots. Yeah, see like these are cool. These, these hold on. <clears throat> these boots are cool because they're they're actual boots these are combat boots instead of heels <sighs> of course of course uh mark not a fan of the mark like it's cool it is cool but as an individual piece i should also just probably say that i'm i'm judging it off of an individual set piece not as a whole as a whole it looks cool obviously um <clears throat> oh no i'm not gonna look at that that's for eververse we're gonna look at eververse later so let's look at the mark first for the hunt for the titan kind of boring but it's symmetrical and it's like a dick cloth one so i will actually be able to use this in some some sets the boots <sighs> Ooh, these boots are gonna be good for like some nightish shit. Oh man, dude. I mean, to be fair, a lot of the, a lot of the stuff from Awoken usually is really good for for night stuff. <coughs> I, I like this. I like this. It looks like it's really bulky in the back, but it is. I'm, I am looking at it from a male point of view. So I don't know how the females is gonna look, but it looks good so far. Uh, arms, please don't be. They, they're not asymmetrical. Oh my God, bro. Thank you. Thank you. These look really cool too. Uh, wonder if the pulgins are a little too small though. We'll see. And then helmet. Let me see the helmet. Helmet. I can definitely use the helmet. I can definitely use this for like a night look, a Spartan look. I, I can, I can make this work for sure. Let's look at the warlocks real quick. <clears throat> Okay, let's look at the bond first. Bond is decent, actually, actually decent. If this changes color, it's gonna be even better. So, not bad. It's definitely gonna be look cool with uh, like an Awoken inspired look or just a uh, royal look in general. Why does it do that? Like, <coughs> it's annoying. Decking's regalia boots, which, you know what? Um. I like it. I definitely like it. I wish there was some more more armor on the the legs right here, specifically the thighs. 
is because uh, it looks kind of barren, but it's most likely because the chess piece. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it'll look good with chess pieces like this where you barely see the thighs because then you see the boots a lot more. <coughs> Speaking of which, this is going to be really fucking cool for Warlocks. Oh my God. I love the this right here. This is going to be super cool, especially if you pair it with like a really extra helmet. Oh man, I just wish that it, I just hope it takes shaders really well. The arms look symmetrical. Like I can just tell you off the bat, it, they look symmetrical, which I hope they are. Cause if they are, it's going to be really cool. And the helmet, I don't remember liking. I, yeah, I don't like, I don't like this thing. It kind of reminds me of the elves from fucking 40 K. I forgot what they're called, but yeah, this thing don't, I don't like that. But other than that, oh, fuck the helmet, like everything from the forehead down looks cool. So <clears throat> that's pretty much it for the season pass. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm really excited to get some of these levels done because dude, like, first of all, this shader right here goes way too hard for being a level five shader, like way too hard. The only thing I can see myself complaining about is maybe the cloth should have been black instead of white but that's an easy fix because there is black in there as well so what i will most likely do is switch the shader out for a black and then hopefully keep the gold for the emblem right there or the uh medallion right there but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below again i have a bunch of stuff to turn in but yeah let me know what you guys think be safe and i'll see you guys later